this may be my new favorite hack squat, honestly. So check this out. Uh, today is actually my birthday. 44 years old today. Uh, kind of crazy. I don't feel that old. Um, you ever wish you could kind of go back with the knowledge and understanding you have now and put it in your body 20 years younger? Maybe make a few different decisions. Obviously, we do the best we can with the knowledge we have at the time. But anyways, just kind of ruminating, reflecting on my birthday. But you got to check out this cool machine I just got. Check this out. Shout out to Mitchell in Oklahoma. Awesome guy. Really nice guy. Sometimes in the equipment world, we rely on the kindness and trust of someone we've never met and don't know. Especially uh, most of us, many of us, myself included, the majority of the time I buy stuff, I have it shipped. I don't have the time at all to go drive different places to get stuff like I did years and years ago. And frankly, it's just not worth my time and energy. But... Um, that being said, it absolutely relies sometimes on the trust and kindness of people we meet virtually. Um, and just really grateful for people that I've met virtually uh, in the equipment world that we buy and sell to um, that we can build rapport and trust when we've never This met. cool thing, this is the Pro Maxima Hack Squat. Check this out. The guy just dropped it off this morning. I knew this would be good. Never tried it. I saw it online once. I knew this thing would be good. It's absolutely phenomenal. Very much like the power lift full body squat, as opposed to the power lift full body squat that comes all the way down there's a linear component. So it's almost like a linear pendulum. Um, it's not a true linear hack squat. It's like a linear pendulum. That's what's awesome because there's no lower back pain whatsoever. The most important thing is that tension is in the legs the entire time. All right, so check this out. So once in a while, I like to do like an initial review right when I get a machine. I, I usually like to spend more time with it. This is literally something I just got a couple hours ago. Um, I'm home for lunch. Uh, between some surgeries and some patients and I just wanted to do a leg workout and I, I had to use this machine so check out the arcing motion you see how it comes down so the top arm is actually linear and the bottom arm swings on a pendulum that's the really cool thing um, so you're coming down straight linear and then all of a sudden uh, you, you pendulum in so it really takes the tension off the lower back and I felt great tension in my feet and in my through my legs i like doing hacks i like doing leg presses with no shoes on um great for training your feet as well so your feet muscles stay with it but check that motion out isn't that kind of cool you see how it kind of arcs down so similar to the power lift full body squat next to it it's a very similar movement uh very similar movement to a couple other machines i have as well it's just a smaller arc than the power lift full body squat um just trying to use a seat belt here I mean, it needs a seatbelt. Once it has a seatbelt, it's going to be awesome. I tried to use this band, but it kind of just popped off, didn't work. A little more uh, stability along the trunk. Uh, it, it's going to be golden. But yeah, just a really cool motion path. Um, you know, just playing around with a little weight. I mean, it's not something you're going to load tons and tons of plates on. At least I'm not. Um, I kind of saw it. It looked like it may, I'm, you know, I may extend the foot plate just, you know, six to eight inches and slightly angle it. Um, I'm kind of messing around with several other leg machines at, right now and fixing some of the foot plate issues just to recruit uh, the legs optimally, but extremely comfortable. The other thing, it's, it's actually a decent footprint. It's not too bad. So um, really cool motion patch. Just trying to give you, giving you my first initial thoughts after using it. Um, I've had and used tons of hack squats. I've still got lots of them, but uh, traditional linear hack squats still... Uh, they're not as good to me as, as a pendulum arcing, uh, you know, squat type movement, just because of uh, how you know your 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 joints they're they're they they hinge. They're not linear, so you're getting some form of compression through the act and some form of axial load through the spine always. So to me, it hits my vastus lateralis. Just just one time use. I'm going to give you a further review down the road, but. It hits it just like this Body Masters uh, standing leg press, which is one of the best ways, best machines I've ever used to hit the outside part of my leg. So have you guys ever used this machine before? Um, let me know what you think. But honestly, you use something like this or the Power Lift Full Body Squat, um, a couple other different pendulum type versions. You have little desire to go back to a linear hack squat just because... It takes all the stress off the lower back. There's not that axial loading of the spine like there is in a linear hack squat. Um, and it's just way smoother.